What's up guys, welcome to your financial update for Monday, April 26th. I hope you're doing fantastic today and I hope you've had a wonderful weekend. Today there's a lot going on in the stock market. There has been some news over the last week about stimulus checks. I know many of you follow me for that. Let's jump into this and see what's going on. Cheetos. Think about it, would you get knocked out for a million dollars? This is your quick and easy stimulus update, stimulus check update, financial update, and all the updates. Let's go. Real quick about the stimulus checks. What they're talking about is a child tax credit into the future where you would get $3,500 per child or $3,000 per child over six years old of tax credit. And they might pay that out over like a monthly stipend. So you'd get like $300 a child or something per month paid out. And who knows what will really happen, it could change, but there's your little stimulus update for the day. As far as other financial updates, there are lots of things going on. Obviously, recently in the stock market, there have been tons of IPOs, which are the initial public offerings of new stocks. And likewise, there's also been some buyouts or purchases of companies where private equity companies come in and they buy a whole company. And basically, if you own stock in that company, they would have to pay you so that they now own that stock. That recently happened as well, so let's jump into those. As far as stocks that have been moving that you can watch for, Global Star is one stock that had actually been up to almost $3 a share back in February, it dropped all the way down to less than a dollar a share, and just recently has taken a spike back up. So a stock to watch if you're looking for a quick return, I don't know if I would necessarily say it's a long-term stock, it's not something that I'm gonna be buying to hold long term, but definitely could be something you can make good money on short term. Huge news for Apple. They said that they're going to be building a headquarters in North Carolina. They have announced that they're going to be investing over $400 billion into the United States. And this is a huge step forward for Apple. They've always had their headquarters out in California. Like many other companies, they are diversifying and moving out of California or partially out of California. Who knows really why they're doing that? possibly for the same reasons other companies are. But big news either way for Apple today with that huge announcement. Apple also had big announcements as far as their new products. They brought out those little uh, doodads that you put on like wallets and keychains and stuff so that when you lose them, you can find them. So a new thing, Apple obviously before was kind of an innovator. Some would argue that since Steve Jobs passed away, they didn't innovate as much. This is a new invention. It's something that they hadn't had before ever. It's not just a new product in the same line of like iPhones or iPads. It's something totally new. So big news twice in about a week for Apple. AstraZeneca is a company that makes vaccines. They are involved in the COVID vaccine and they're looking to have their initial public offering. Now this is big news. They're hoping to have an initial public offering about for about $18 per share. Now that would value the company at over $600 million. They claim that they would like to get into vaccines for cancer and other things that can possibly be prevented by a vaccine. I think it's a big guessing game with that. I don't think there's huge proof that they're gonna be able to do that yet. Be careful investing in IPOs, initial public offerings. It is a risky, high reward, but also high risk. So be careful with those. Lastly, like I mentioned before, companies do get purchased. They are already a public company and they get purchased by private equities or private companies or people who want to buy the whole entire company. So a deal was made for Proofpoint. Uh, they are a cybersecurity company and they were bought out by Thoma Bravo. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Thoma Bravo paid over a 30% premium on the stock price as of Friday at close. So if you owned some of the Proofpoint stock, you would have been paid by Thoma Bravo because now it is not a publicly traded company and no longer it is privately owned by a private equity firm. So that is the big stock market slash financial news for the day. I hope that you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. I apologize, I just dropped my phone. If you aren't already subscribed, please subscribe below. It helps the channel out tremendously, and I greatly appreciate it. Hopefully I'll be able to bring you more financial and stimulus if there are stimulus updates in the future. Take care guys, have a fantastic day, bye-bye.